Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Mike here from uh, Madman Mike. This is now mission four in the uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist Pacifist Perfectionist playthroughs. Um, very quickly, going to just mention again on the suit, I realised that actually it's the trousers, the pants that give you extra special mags. Um, the standard one, of course, only, you only get three, but if you upgrade to the nano polymer coating, you get stealth increase and more special mags, so that does come in handy. Uh, apart from that, let's just crack on. Okay, so here we are, we're starting off. We just rappel down the wall and wait in the flower beds because we just want to wait for a gap in the roots of this patrolman. Um, I've upgraded, I've now got a sniper rifle. It lets me shoot out the uh, lights at long range. And I've also upgraded my scope to give me some better sonar, including um, footpath tracking. So if you see that flashing up, you at least now you know what it is that I'm using. Okay, now he moves off. We want to jump down and get to the door before he notices us. Get up there! Right. There's a laptop there. What you do to get it is you shoot out his light when he's just walked away. And then when he turns back, you just simply drop down and access the laptop. Once you've done that, you head out through this main garage door. Helps if I can speak a bit more clearly. Right, get out your crossbow. Arm it with the sticky shockers because there's an, an annoying dog all the way over there. What we've got to do is we've got to wait for him to go to the far corner, start heading out before we start following him. There we go, right, it looks like he's already gone now. If you jump straight behind the U-Move van, the dog will actually sniff you and give away your position. Oops. Uh, and here comes the dog again. If you zap him, hopefully no one else will actually um, notice. Because he's in the shadows, they might not see him. Although I've got a really bad feeling I'm going to have to redo this in a bit. They work so well the first time through. Right, just go over the wall, and then you're done. Would that be Okay, get it back again. Just wait for the window to open. You want to use your sticky shockers because there is going to be another dog that we're going to have to put down um, momentarily, but instead of sticky shocker, actually, it's better to use sleeping gas. Sleeping gas drops less. I don't know if you've noticed that before, there is quite a considerable drop using the sticky shockers. Sleeping gas, less of a drop, uh, and even if you miss, it's still pretty good. There's the dog there. We want to wait till he gets about there, and then we'll just put him to sleep for a bit. Okay, drop down, no one's noticed, and we just go past. Right. No one's really noticed us, they might have gotten a little bit suspicious, so we just move down here, we'll dump the dog in the shadows. That's right, I'll just sleep all that off. And we just carry on. Sometimes there's a guy at the end there with the flashlight looking directly at us, sometimes not. You have to judge it, of course. There we go, he's starting to come down now. Just got to see what he's going to do. Right, he's starting to come down the stairs now. The problem is we've got one coming down those stairs as well. So we'll wait till this chump goes past us, hop the wall, and get into another waiting position. There's a guy just below us here, so what we'll do is we will just hook onto the wall, wait for him to go, and then we're in. 
and that's it. On to the next bit with the old uh, tri rotor. So this is a fun bit. I say fun. It's not really. Just quite simply, I mean, it's there's no choices really at this point. You just got to go through it, following this simple line. You just got to evade the guys at the end who will spot it and shoot it straight away. Alright, here we go. Lovely jubbly. They haven't even noticed us. Which is good. You just want to wait here for a moment just so he isn't looking directly at us. And then we can go through the door. That's it. Now there is a capture target up here. You just have to wait for a second or two because this guy is going to run past us. We want to make sure he doesn't spot us. There he is. He's gone. That's the one we want to capture. Okay. Now there is another dog around here. Gotta love those dogs. Or not. And there we go. So what I'll do is actually if I shoot the dog. There we go. Then all we got to do is go up to him and bag him and tag him. Right. Now you can go that way and across up to the balcony. However, it's not that much of a problem to just go through this downstairs door. So I'm going to show you how to do that bit. Let's reload that. The first bit you're going to want just a pistol because you've got to shoot something on the wall. And here we go. So you step in. Okay, so you come through the doors, take a left. I shoot the box so I don't need to, just out of habit really. And follow these guys. As they stop to do a couple of searches, we will just take cover behind this chair. I'll just wait here for a moment. Okay, we can now start moving now that he's just finished looking there. And as he goes upstairs, we just jump up onto this railing. Activate your tri rotor straight away, and as long as you've got the timing right, you can just swing around the corner. Just like that. And then turn the tri rotor off and wait for him. So that requires a little bit of timing finesse just to get it right. But if you do while he's looking over that railing back there, you can just move on up. Uh, is there a guy up here? No, which means he's there, which is a problem for us. So we just got to wait here for, the, for a few minutes. Get out your noisemakers ready. But all you've got to do really is just swing around the pin table. You can then move straight on out. Swing around to the right because this is the way we want to be going. And it's pretty much clear straight away. If you wait, you can still take this route, you just got to wait a bit for the patrols to, um, well, just to create a, a hole for you really to go through. So that's it. We are now at the safe room. Just skip this bit. Okay. As Nauri runs through, grab your proximity shockers and follow him. And then chuck the proximity shocker just by the front door. Get out your crossbow with sleeping gas bolts ready. Right, so that's one down. Let's fire at the wall. And then we go, there's the other one. While well, now he's making his way downstairs, we will just jump here, drop a proximity shocker there, and then we will be getting ready in a moment. Okay. And the other 
other guy is just around here. And that's it. We now wait for wait for Nari to uh, follow us or well, meet up with us, I should say. And that's it. I'll just fast forward a bit. We may as well get ready with some sleeping gas, just in case. Alright, here we go. Actually, what I'll do to try and make sure that I have don't even come and do as much contact with these guys, I'm going to get out the sticky noisemakers. Just want one there. Just to stop them seeing us as we go past. And there are two guys down here. So what we'll do is we will chuck one over there and get ready to shoot well, one or both of them with sleeping gas. And there we go, and then we can just run while he is investigating that one. So I've only had to knock one of them out with sleeping gas. And that's it. Also because we haven't raised an alarm, haven't gotten any of them spooked, there's going to be no reinforcements so we don't have to have a shoot out here. We just go straight to the boat. And that's it. Okay, so there we go. We've got gold again on uh, Perfectionist as a pacifist. So that's it. Cool. I'll see you on the next video.